In this problem, we want to find the equation of the line tangent to this graph at the point x equal 2, and we want to use the definition for the derivative of a function at a specific point. So if we're going to find the equation of the line tangent, we're going to need two things. We're going to need the slope of the line, and we're going to need one point on the line. So when x is equal to 2 for this function, f of 2 is going to be 1 over 2. Right? f of x is 1 over x, so when x is equal to 2, f of 2 is 1 half. So that means that this point right here, x equal 2, y equal 1 half, is a point on that line. Now, to find the equation of the line tangent to the graph, we need to find the slope of that line, and we can find the slope using the derivative, and in this case, we want to use the definition for the derivative. So, f prime of 2 is going to be the limit as x goes to 2 of f of x minus f of 2 all divided by x minus 2. And that is just the definition for the derivative of a function at a specific point. So now all I need to do is simplify this, find the limit, and I'll have the slope of that line. So here I'm going to say this is the limit as x goes to 2 of, okay, f of x is equal to 1 over x. f of 2 is 1 over 2, and then x minus 2. So here I have a complex fraction. That is a fraction. I have a fraction that has fractions within it. And so to simplify a complex fraction, I can find the least common denominator for all the denominators of the little fractions and multiply the top and bottom of the big fraction by that. So I look here and see that the least common denominator for all the fractions here is going to be 2x. So I'll multiply this by 2x, and I'll multiply this by 2x. So I've really multiplied by the number 1, so I haven't changed the value of that expression. So now this becomes the limit as x goes to 2, of 2x times 1 over x is going to be 2. 2x times 1 over 2 is going to be x over x minus 2 times 2x. I won't actually multiply that out because I see that I'm going to have a common factor to the numerator and denominator. So that's going to give me the limit as x goes to 2 of when I divide x minus 2 into 2 minus x, I get negative 1, because this is really negative 1 times x minus 2. So when I divide out that common factor, x minus 2, I end up with negative 1 in the numerator. So negative 1 over 2x. Now I can take the limit. As x goes to 2, this goes to 4 in the denominator. So this becomes negative 1 fourth. And that's going to be the slope of the line tangent to this point, the tangent to this graph at that point. So that's m. That's my slope. So the equation of the line tangent is y minus y1 equals m negative 1 fourth times x minus x1, which is 2. So there's the equation of the line tangent. All I have to do is simplify y minus 1 half equals negative one-fourth x plus negative one-fourth times negative two is going to be positive one-half. And then I'll add one-half to both sides and I'll get y equals negative one-fourth x plus one. There's the equation of the line tangent to that graph at that point. We found it using the definition of the derivative and a little bit of algebra. We took that limit and got negative one-fourth. And there it is in slope-intercept form, y equal negative one-fourth times x plus one. That means that the graph of the line tangent goes through the y-axis at one, has a slope of negative one-fourth. So if I go down one, I have to go over one, two, three, four to get to another point on the graph. And so that graph of the line tangent is going to look something like that. Of course, this is a rough estimate of what the graph is. I just did it by hand. So it seems to make sense. Now, you might say, well, is there an easier way to do this? Sure, there is, and it involves finding this derivative. 
Here we're using the definition. If you wanted to use the properties of derivatives, you would find the derivative much faster. But in the book that this came from, they want us to use the definition of the derivative just to practice using it to make sure that we can do all this algebra and take this limit and get that. But when we get this negative 1 fourth x plus 1, it looks like that is the line tangent to the graph at that point.